So you want to round decimals and numbers. This can be either easy or seriously annoying depending on what rule you use. Yes, there are different rules when rounding numbers. First, the easy rule we all know, rounding half up towards positive infinity. I know it's a ridiculous name for a rule to round numbers, but I promise you guys already know this one. In this rule, if the rounding digit or the digit you want to round up or down is followed by 6, 7, 8, or 9, you round the rounding digit up. If it's followed by 1, 2, 3, or 4, you round down. But if it's a 5 or halfway in between, you round it up towards positive infinity. In this case, 23 is closer to infinity compared to 22, so we round to 23. What about negative numbers, you ask? Well, if the rounding digit is followed by 6, 7, 8, or 9, you round down to minus 23. If followed by 1, 2, 3, or 4, you round up to minus 22. Half, or 5, is a little tricky. I will not lie to you. You'll be tempted to round to the negative side. But you must resist this urge and remember that the name of the rule explicitly states round towards positive infinity. Thus, minus 22.5 will be rounded to minus 22, which is closer to positive infinity compared to minus 23. While easy to remember, there's a problem with this rule. Let's say we have a random set of decimal numbers beginning with the number 22 that we need to round to the ones. You would think that since the numbers are random, we'd end up with about the same number of 22s and 23s. But because we use the half up to positive infinity rule to carry out this task, we have an artificial bias towards 23. This bias leads us to the next rule, rounding half to even. In this rule, everything is the same as the rounding half up towards positive infinity, except when the number following the rounding digit is a 5, you round towards the closest even number. It's the same with negative numbers, so minus 22.5 is rounded to minus 22, and minus 23.5 is rounded to minus 24. You guys like quizzes, right? Can you round 22.51 to the ones using the round half to even method? So, did you guys get 22? Well, it's wrong. You probably looked at the 5 after the rounding digit and decided to go to the closest even number. But the rule is round half to even, not round 5 to even. Since 22.51 is not halfway between 22 and 23, but closer to 23, you'll have to round it to 23. Half to even rule is much better than half up to positive infinity in terms of correcting bias. But even this rule isn't perfect, since it will create more even numbers compared to odd numbers. Regardless, it was deemed good enough by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and is used in many computer functions. But if rounding half to even isn't good enough for your high standards, you can always turn towards the more sophisticated rules such as the stochastic rounding rule, Monte Carlo method, alternating tie-breaking rule and more. As to what they are, look them up yourselves, you lazy bums. Stick side.